All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have in your list. Today, our topic, as you see in the title, how Allah He say me Allah. You know, when uh, when we ask the Muslims who is the one who is speaking the Quran, they will say to us Allah. Who is the one who is uh, presenting himself in the Quran? They say Allah. And then a very simple question will come. If the one who is talking is Allah, how Allah he say me Allah? Isn't it? This is really weird. I am a Christian prince and I say, me Christian prince. Let us say, you guys are waiting for me and now I say, may Christian prince show up. But I am Christian Prince. So how they say such a thing? I don't know who is calling me now. I, I mean, uh, you guys don't call me. Don't call me. I mean, don't you see? I just started and you start calling me. Don't call me. I will block you. Especially Christians. And why are you calling me? I did not, we did not say anything yet. <laughs> I mean... We did not even say hello yet. <laughs> Hold your horses, please. Let me exit uh, Skype. It's a mistake, actually, to have a Skype open. My Skype is like a crazy machine. I answer one text, I get like 100 after five seconds. So when the Quran is made by Allah, and the one is talking is Allah, and the one is making decision is Allah, so how Allah, he say me Allah? This is the question for today, and let us see how that can function. If we go in the Quran <clears throat> and we search for the word Asa, Asa in Arabic, which means maybe, we will find tons of verses in the Quran using the word Asa. Actually, it's a very popular verse, I mean, a word Asa, Asa, Asa. Hmm? I will give you an example. Chapter 66, verse number 5. Allah speaking, saying, it may be. You see here, they say translation, it may happen. <laughs> it doesn't say that, actually. It says, maybe that his Lord will divorce you. Hmm. Who is the one who's talking here? It is Allah. And Allah is saying, it may be Allah, he will divorce you. Or let us say, it may be Allah, if he divorced you, which means Muhammad, he will replace you and exchange you with better women. Now, here you notice that if Allah is God, and the Muslim, they say to us, Allah, he knew the future. Then how Allah, he says, it's maybe if he divorced you. Don't you know if they're going to divorce him or not? What do you mean no screen? No screen? Mm, cannot be true. On my side, the screen is working. No, oh, I don't know what happened. Hold on. Something not right. Interesting. All right. What about now? Is it working now? Yeah, you see my cam, but you cannot see me because simply there's no, no cam there. <laughs> anyway, so it may happen, it may happen that your Lord, if you divorce you, if he divorce you, he will give them and he replaced them with better wives. Now, 
if Allah he knew the future he knew if he will divorce them or not anyway so what do you mean if he divorce you it may be why Allah don't confirm what he will do because simply this verse made by Muhammad copied by Umar ibn al-Khattab Umar ibn al-Khattab he said exactly the same sentence he said it may be that his Lord if he divorce you he will give you instead better wives Muhammad he liked what Umar al-Khattab he said he took it and he put it in the Quran how we can prove that we can go right now and show you from Islamic reference it may be Umar ibn al-Khattab he said that his Lord agree with him there's many hadith actually some agree with him in three some it says agree with him with five some agree with him seven some agree is with ten I mean you name it uh, read really carefully Omar said I agreed with Allah in three things or said my Lord agreed with me in three things I said Oh Allah Apostle would you took the station of Abraham a place for a prayer right away Muhammad he took exactly what 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 the Umar he said and he put it in the Quran and he claimed Allah he told him that I also said Oh Allah Apostle good and bad visiting your house would you order the mother of the believers to cover themselves with the veil so Allah he sent it the verses of hijab exactly as Umar he said Omar he says something Muhammad he take it he claim Allah said it and then he said uh, I came to know that the Prophet had blamed some of his wives so I entered upon them and I said you should either stop troubling the Prophet or else Allah will give uh, will give his apostle better wives than you then when I came uh, to one of his wives she said to me oh Omar does Allah apostle haven't uh, 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 what you uh, have you called advice his wives with that will you try to advise them thereupon Allah revealed it may be if he divorce you all his Lord will give him instead of you wives better than you. Actually, in different hadith it says, and the verse came the same as I said. The verses came down as I said. Here we go. Do you see it? So the verse came the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it, guys? Here we notice right away that Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet. His friend, he says something, he like it, he take it, and he make it Quran. Not only he take it, he take it word by word. The same as I had said. If you go in the beginning of the report of uh, Omar saying, my Lord agreed with me in three things. Hold on. Allah agreed with Omar? <laughs> uh, Allah agreed with Omar. I mean, this is the most funny, stupid thing ever I heard. You see, Allah did not agree with Muhammad. Allah agreed with Omar. Okay, who is Omar? How God he agree with Omar 
Omar is not the prophet. Omar is just a friend of the prophet. Omar, he says something. Omar is the one who decides women, Muslim women, they should wear hijab. Allah agree with him. Omar is the one who decides that the Kaaba should be a prayer station for the Muslims. Allah agree with him. Omar is the one who said that if you don't behave the wives of Muhammad, Allah will divorce you. And he said it clearly the same as we said before. May Allah, may Allah, you see here, it says, May his Lord, if you change the translation, just change the translation, just to show you how, 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 how they fabricate in the translation. This is Yusuf Ali here now. Okay. It may be if he divorce you all that Allah will give him in exchange better women than you. This is exactly what Omar said. And that confirmed that the Quran is nothing but false for two reasons. Here you notice that Omar, he said, it may be because it's simply a wish. A wish made by him. Do we agree? It's clear, right? The hadith confirmed that. Even the hadith says, so the, 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 the verses came as I said. Not only came, came as I had said. Exactly. So look at the thief Muhammad. Omar, he did give a warning to the wives of Muhammad. He said a sentence, Muhammad, he liked it. He took it, he made a Quran, but he forgot to exchange the words. So the word became exactly as Omar, he said, and that made the Quran not only exposed to be false, but funny. Because what do you mean? You say, it may be that was the wish of Omar. It cannot be the wish of God. God, he don't need to say it may be. He knew if you are going to divorce him or not. He knew if they are going to behave or not. The whole verse is not valid. There's no point of it. Do Allah knew that those women, they will behave later or not? Did this woman behave because of this verse? But Omar is the one who said this verse first. And if the women, they behave because of this verse, so what the point of saying it maybe he would divorce you? What about saying he will not divorce you because you will behave? So here we notice it may be that Allah will give him an exchange. Exposing that this is nothing but a statement of different men who wish. And he is making a threat that if you don't behave, Allah will replace you with better women. Are we following? Now we go to different verses. The Quran is full of verses speaking about maybe. Maybe Allah will make between you and those who you used to be uh, uh, enemy, uh, you know, some relationship. Maybe. It may be. I mean, who is talking? Allah talking. So how Allah is not sure what will happen? Because simply this verse, he don't know the future. He is a guy just making Quran. He do not know what will happen tomorrow. And he has given an opinion that maybe is going to be fixed between us. Maybe. Allah, he said, pre-establish the worship from to from and some part of the night. So it may be that the Lord will raise thee to a praise state, maybe. Why it's maybe? You see, if he is doing that, you don't say maybe. It's a must because maybe it is. You know, it's it's. Uh, you know, when we say maybe, what does that mean? Is we are not sure. When somebody says maybe, it's possible yes, it's possible not. So if he do what you are asking for, uh, for why it's going to be maybe? If Allah is saying to Muhammad, do this and that, why still you are saying maybe? So what the point of saying to him, do this and that, if it's still maybe anyway? What happened here, 
that Muhammad always he forget to switch when he fabricate Quran and he don't speak he should speak as Allah speaking but he speak as it's him speaking so he say it's maybe this is Muhammad wish it cannot be Allah talking if you look at uh, what Jesus he says Jesus he is very sure from what he say not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will not maybe All right I say to you your sin is forgiven not maybe I say to you carry your bed and walk not maybe God he say and whatever he say is going to happen Here, we see that the God of Islam, because he is not sure, he focus in maybe. Because what if I say something and it did not happen? So Muhammad, he learned his lesson. Because Muhammad before, he, he, he said things and they never happened. So now he learned his lesson not to say for sure is going to happen. As an example, if you remember, uh, Muhammad he said in the chapter of Al-Anfal chapter 8:65 and chapter 8:66 he said to them that uh, two uh, 20 of you hmm? Can fight 200. Then the Muslims they went to war and they lost. When they came back, Muhammad he want to fix it. He learned his lesson because he promised them that 20 can win against 200, which means 1 to 10. As you see. 20 can win against 200 or a hundred can win against a thousand so 1 to 10 right away the verse after it Muhammad he fixed it he learned his lesson that he was exaggerating with his lies now has Allah lightened your burden for he knew that there is a weakness in you now hold on you do not know the weakness in them before here what does that mean? Allah correcting himself? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? What does that mean? Allah is correcting himself? You know, the God of Israel, when he promised Israel victory, that said victory. Even the sun froze by its place. For God, he made his command, which means time stopped. If God is with me, who could be against me? What 20 and what 100? This is not about numbers. If God is on your side, here we are talking about a fight, supposedly one fighting and beside them there's God, and one they are fighting and beside them, you know, the, the false God. This is a fight about religion, not a fight between two countries over some gold and silver, supposedly. So if Allah is saying, 100 can fight a thousand then this is not about the burden of them because you are the one who promised the victory they would have victory but because this is not from god muhammad he found that he is exaggerating with his lies there's no way one person can fight 10. this is only we can see in uh, 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 you know american movies when a guy he fly and he beat everybody and his gun never get empty and he shoot everybody and if suddenly he get injured in the arm only and then he jump in a car and there's a blonde girl next to him here we notice that because Muhammad is fabricating Quran and he is not sure what the outcome 
he changed and he update his Quran base by base today is not the same as tomorrow he tried things it's like a, if somebody is, is trying to try things in the laboratory it doesn't work it doesn't function we update it we replace it this is why we see in different verse in the Quran where it says In chapter 2 verse 106 nothing of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we bring in place one better or like for hold on Muslims are used more to Yusuf Ali translation let us try it too here you will notice again how Muhammad the false prophet he is fabricating verses saying that Allah is saying that, but this is impossible. How many mistakes we notice in this verse? People. How many mistakes we notice here immediately? Let us see how many of you are thinking with me. Who noticed? Right away, there's immediate. I mean, this is this is the most stupid verse ever in the Quran. Actually, no, there's a this is more stupid than this one, to be honest with you. The one that says you can eat in your home. Look, look with me. None of our revelation do we abrogate. First of all, why you abrogate revelation for the same prophet? I mean, we, we did not pass like hundred years or three hundred years. I mean, you give me a verse yesterday, and now you want to abrogate the verse. That a very clear example of a fake person, right? You see, abrogation. Uh, if <coughs> if we can accept abrogation to be true, like you know, a human being go forward and life change and etc. So there's changes, but this is the same guy. The same time, it's always it's, uh, all his messages was about twenty years. So what do you mean abrogation? We are not talking about like a, we we have a. Uh, during Noah and then during uh, Moses and then during uh, w w why we need abrogation and for the same prophet same time that doesn't make sense same time look at the abrogation what is the abrogation in Islam it says cause to be forgotten why Allah caused the verses to be forgotten I mean this is the most silly statement ever because if Allah want to abrogate something do he need to cause it to be forgotten So what you like you say to me in the morning you should drink milk afternoon you make me forget it and you abrogate it says it eat yogurt and now I cannot remember drink milk no more and isn't it this is against what the Muslim they say to us that the Quran preserved but in the heart if Allah himself is causing you to forget the Quran same time look at the excuse why he wants you to forget the Quran why look, let us see the wisdom but we substitute something better hold on i mean how in the world god he says i'm going to give you quran better than my quran what do you mean better allah will make quran better than his quran don't you find that very silly muslims if allah want to make quran better than the quran that what does that mean allah he went to school and his english is better now like christian prince uh, uh, 15 years ago his english was a lot more worse than now still it's, it's very ugly until now but look like allah is, uh, is is having the same thing what do you mean you are going to give us better quran and to make it more silly or more stupid or similar hold on so you want me to forget the quran to give me a quran which is similar <laughs> I mean no comment it's like you know somebody he have a house and I come to your house and I say I'm going to burn your house uh, because I'm going to give you a similar house I mean how silly how stupid is that you see first he said better and then he said similar because he's not sure maybe people will like it maybe they will not like it maybe it's better maybe it's not he's not sure from the quality of the verse he will give so Muhammad here again is exposing himself as a false man claiming that God is speaking 
and why Muhammad he made this statement because simply is he is trying to tell you uh, like give me an, I'm giving you an excuse the reason is or the reason why I am forgetting Quran eh, because Allah caused me to forget the Quran Muhammad he cannot recite the verse twice the same time Muhammad he says something in the morning he cannot recite the same thing twice again at, uh, at night and then Muhammad he come with the new lie saying that Allah he sent him the Quran in uh, seven letters in what seven letters have you ever heard of a prophet doing bazaar negotiating with his God his God he sent him on Quran Muhammad he says hello 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 I ask from Allah for burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it like hold on have you ever heard of a prophet he is correcting his God his God he says I send you the Quran in one dialect one dialect which means one way of recitation you know the change in the word location you know this is why Muhammad he cannot repeat the same verse twice so Muhammad he can't he have to come with an excuse why I'm not a false prophet so why you cannot repeat the same verse twice in front of those people you said it this way in front of the other people you said different way so why they are different Muhammad he have to come with an excuse so look at the excuse Jibreel the pizza guy which is nobody saw Allah he said to Muhammad Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one day like upon this he said which mean Muhammad I ask Allah burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it okay hold on have you ever heard of a human being saying to his God this is not right one Quran is not enough and guess what Muhammad was right Allah he agreed with him the same he agreed with Umar before so then Jibreel he come in the second time and he said Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran into the elect now Muhammad should be happy no not enough because Muhammad he made too much poo poo to the elect is not enough you see you see how Muhammad he fabricated the story and then upon this the Holy Prophet again said I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah my people would not be able to do so so Allah is slow he cannot understand that Muhammad trying to say to him stop doing that my people are very silly and they are full they cannot do that so Jibreel he went back and he came back for the third time and he said to him Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people in three dialect upon this Muhammad said I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah my people would not be able to do so this is the third time so the story continue until it's seven time and then Muhammad he said thank you Allah that's good have you ever heard of I mean the, what Musa did with God <laughs> how dare you even to say to God if he is God and you are just a prophet I mean if a prophet he obey God whatever he say how Muhammad he assumed that his God is a stupid and he need to be corrected and this is not right one Quran is not enough two Quran is not enough and the stupid Allah he keeps sending the angel again and again and then Muhammad at the end he agree with the seven obviously this is a pure lie and Muhammad he is not you know nothing but a scam what's saving Quran 
Uh, so how if uh, uh, in here guys there is a very simple question Muhammad he is speaking about his people his people is who the Arab the Arab okay if we are the Arab who speak Arabic we cannot understand the Quran and we cannot do it in one Quran how a guy from Pakistan or Zakir Naik will understand the Quran brother sister according to the Prophet he said that Allah he turned the Quran in seven dialect and the reason for that because we cannot understand it uh, brother Zakir Naik do you understand first the first dialect Absolutely not. I don't speak Arabic. I never learned Arabic, but I can say a few Arabic words. As an example, you are the hell. So seven dialect to make the Arab qualified to know the Quran, but yet a Pakistani guy today. And by the way, what is the seven dialect? What is the seven Quran? How come seven Quran was required in the time of Muhammad? Now we do not need seven Quran no more. The Muslims, they you know, those Muslims around the world, they knew two Arabic words. Assalamu alaikum, brother. You know, you remember once I was in the Philippines, I was in the elevator speaking in the phone. <coughs> I was speaking Arabic. And there's a Abdul in the elevator. He heard me speak in Arabic. But, you know, when we went up, uh, we lost connection. So I hang up, you know. And then he said, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Because he thought I am an, uh, a Muslim because I'm, an, I'm speaking Arabic, right? So I said, Alaikum assalam, Abdul. He said, MashaAllah, you know my name. His eyes open like a frog, you know. MashaAllah, you know my name. <laughs> I was saying to myself, look at this fool. He, he think I know his name. <laughs> he did not know I called him all Abdul. So... Mashallah, you know my name. I said, No, I do not know your name, <laughs> but aren't you Abdul anyway? He said, Yes, my name is Abdul. That's why I'm surprised you know my name. <laughs> anyway, so here you notice the stupidity of a cult leader, founder, how he fabricates lies. I mean, here there is a disrespect to God. If God is almighty, if God is all-knowing, does God, he keeps saying it, maybe. Does God, he agree with Umar ibn al-Khattab? In three major things in Islam, actually in some hadith it says ten. The hijab is from Umar. The Kaaba as a prayer station is from Umar. And the divorce of the wives of Muhammad is from Umar. And then we find Muhammad filling the Quran with words where it says, maybe, it may Allah forgive you. So, always, you, you know, put into your consideration the logic which the Muslims, they use with us. The Muslim, they say to you, how Jesus can be God, but yet you do not know the judgment day. But if you go and read the verses carefully, you will see that Jesus did not say that he did not know. But it's about the nature of the judgment day, how Christians, how the world will be judged in judgment day. You see, Christianity is not based on a predestination, which means the Messiah, he said, the faster we corrupt this earth, the faster judgment they will come it's not a preset it is in our hand and it's not for a man to know for he will come the same as a thief he will come in the middle of the night so why he want to tell you and as we said it's going to be in your hand but here we notice that allah in every statement he do not know what he is saying and he is not sure of what he is saying including how many Quran to send down and it was Muhammad who is a human being he is the one who decides for Allah that seven Quran is okay but yet Allah was very naive he wanted to send only one Quran actually if you want to go from the first verses in the Quran the first chapter in the Quran let us take a look. Uh, 
if Allah is the one is talking, how Allah is saying in the name of Allah? Uh, you know, anyone want to work in translation, please text me in Skype and we will talk there. All right? Text me in Skype. Thank you. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Either we say that here this is a prayer and is not Allah saying that, Allah, he should say, he should say, start this chapter here, should say, pray like this. Pray like that. All right? But do you see anywhere it says pray like that? I don't see it. To make this verse or this chapter accurate, pray like this. The same as Jesus, he said, when they asked him how to pray, he said, pray like this, our Father out of heaven. But here we don't say pray like this. Suddenly we see a guy saying that Allah said to him in the name of Allah. And then praise be to Allah. Allah saying in the name of Allah, praise be to Allah. And already you said the praise be to Allah. So why you are repeating that again? And already you said the most beneficent, the most merciful. Why you are repeating that again? God don't speak as a foolish man who repeat the same words twice, three times. You just said that. And then Allah, he says, Alhamdulillah. By the way, Alhamdulillah is not really praise for Allah. It says, thanks to Allah. Allah is saying thanks to Allah. And then Allah, he says, show us the straight way. Obviously, this is a prayer made by Muhammad, but always he forget to switch the third person. He forgot to add introduction. That Allah he said to him let us say pray like that otherwise doesn't make sense the same as the verses you remember about eating in your home which chapter who remember which chapter in the Quran it says eat in your home anyone remember what chapter what verse it says you can eat in your home. 2461. This verse is nothing but a silly man. His name is Muhammad trying to make uh, uh, to speak wisdom. And when he speak wisdom, he got nothing but diarrhea. Look at this madness. No blame is there upon the blind nor any blame upon the lame, nor any blame upon the sick, nor on yourself if you eat in your houses. <laughs> I mean, this Allah, he squeezed his, his mom like 100 times before he come with this. I wonder how long Allah, he was thinking about making this verse. So no blame if you are a blind, blind man to eat in your house. I mean, are you sure? So where the blind man usually used to eat before Islam? Like the blind man, he used to feel guilty when he eat in his house. It was a sin before Islam. If you are sick, no blame upon you if you eat in the house. Where the sick they eat? And then to make it more poo-poo, no lame, no, no blame if you are a lame, if you are a person who don't walk right, you know, you have problem with your feet. Or your legs or you are disabled no blame if you eat in your house what's wrong with you i mean what do you mean no plane to eat in your house and then the stupidity continues says or or in the houses of your father well thank you very much i thought i cannot eat in the house of my father if I cannot, if I mean, 
I need God to tell me I can eat in my house and I can eat in the house of my father. I need God to tell me I can eat the house of my mother. Because before Islam, nobody know that. I need God to tell me or the house of your brothers or the house of your sisters. And to make it more stupid, or the houses of your brother father or the houses of your brother sisters or the houses of your mother brothers actually i mean we need, we need more details am i come on allah he will not leave any conditions so the brother your brother is okay your mother is okay your father is okay your father brother is okay your mother brother is okay i mean what is that are we going to keep going and like oh my your cousin is okay <laughs> and then and the houses of your mother sister if, 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 if. or from any house you have the whole keys of it okay so if somebody is a waiter or, or, or a, a, a person he walk in a hotel and he have the key for the hotel he can eat the food in the refrigerator <laughs> Or if somebody, a friend, he gave a key to his house to a friend, he still can have, you know, he can, he can. <laughs> Don't post your link, your your email, my friend, in a chat. Don't do that. That's not a good thing. Nobody here should post his email. Don't do that, please. There's a lot of bad people. Now they will text you, they will email you, and they will say to you, I'm a Christian prince. Don't be, be smart. Or from the house of a friend and then Allah he make the biggest people and no sin no sin shall it be for you whether you eat together or apart <laughs> I was feeling so guilty for eating alone all those years and I was saying to myself am I doing sin now I'm when doing sin or eating together or apart I mean we need it really we need God to tell us you it's no sin to eat alone so as you see this is cannot be from God this is the most silly stupid what is that And then the verse after that, like you have, you have to uh, to ask the prophet for uh, a permission. I mean, the verse before it, and the verse before it, and the verse before it. I mean, it's a it's a connection of a silly, stupid rules, and they, they they mean nothing. Yet, but this is your God. So when somebody he come to me and he says I have God and his name is Allah well at least you bring me a God he can be considered like I mean a person who have little intelligence what I see in the Quran like not only the earth is a flat and the sunset in murky water and the baby coming from the backbone their sperm and the women she have a sperm coming from the ribs and uh, he found where the sun set and he found the place where the sun rise and I mean all the crazy stupid stories in the top of that even the structures of the Quran is silly and stupid so always we need to be careful always we need to be careful otherwise Anyone can fool us and he can claim that he is a prophet of God By the way, I want to tell you a prophecy I Feel sometimes like a prophet But I'm shy to tell you, you know, okay, let me make some prophecy Tomorrow there is someone will have accident in the highway in Indonesia and Somebody will have accident in America and the brother Somebody is going to eat rice in China 
And to make it more, more crazy, I say to you a secret nobody have. There's millions of women, they will have their period next month. Now for sure, there's no way I know that unless I'm a prophet. Like if you ask Muhammad uh, or any Abdul, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? What he will say to you? I mean, how you call somebody a prophet? What is the prophecy? What is the prophecy? What is the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran? Will make him a prophet? Who is a Muslim when they tell me a prophecy? Hmm? Who is a Muslim? He can tell me a prophecy Muhammad he have. I will open my sky, but please only, only Muslims can call me. Don't call me if you are not a Muslim. We want to give a chance only for Abdul. Anyone is not Abdul, I will block you, please. All right? If you are Abdul and you like to call me right now, my Skype is open. I will give you just 15 minutes for Abdul to call. Otherwise, after that, we will not take calls. Do we have any Abdul? Maybe, maybe. What is the prophecy we can find in the Quran where make the Muslims call Muhammad a prophet? I mean, why you call him a prophet? Uh, I said Muslims call me. I got a call from a Christian. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, my friend, I hear you. Can you hear me good? I do hear you good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about um, um, religion. I want to talk about politics. No, no, no. Don't change my topic, please. Don't change my topic. Hello. Okay. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about. No, my friend, I have to block you now. Uh, let us see if we have any Muslim until now I don't see any Muslim really trying to call if you are a Muslim call me if you are not don't call me otherwise I will block you the person who just called me now he is a Muslim I blocked him what is the prophecy make your prophet called a prophet any Muslim can provide us with one Any Muslim, he can provide us with one prophecy, just one, any one of your choice. We can find in the Quran. Anyone? Hello? Hello? Yes, are you a Muslim? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Do you know any prophecy make Muhammad a prophet? Oh, uh, first, uh, uh, I would like to come back to you. The two verse, two verses you called it about uh, maybe the maybes. Okay. So, uh, which one? You said Allah saying maybe. There's tons of verses in the Quran says Allah. He says maybe. Yeah, any maybe. Okay. So why Allah? He say maybe. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Allah is telling you he got the decision. Okay. If you do this, maybe I will forgive you. If you do that, maybe, maybe hmm. I will. Hmm. That's my decision. Now, do you know what the difference between maybe and perhaps? Okay, what the difference between maybe and perhaps? It's the same, right? I don't know. You tell me. My English is not good. So tell me what the difference okay. between maybe and perhaps. Is there a difference? No, no difference. Okay. But you are saying so, like uh, Allah, He gave you a freedom of cho a choice. 
I'm telling you, Allah is saying maybe Himself got a choice. Who who choice have who have a, who have a choice? You or Him? Allah. Allah. Maybe I will forgive you. Okay, so Allah. Maybe okay, I will okay. Give him but but that's mean Allah is not sure He have a choice. This is what we are saying. We are saying how Allah He saying maybe if He knew the future. Why He saying maybe? Why He say if you if you pray and repent, I forgive you. Why He say maybe? If you say to your son, hmm. "Go wash my car," maybe I will take you to the movie. Okay. So what does that mean? It's maybe this mean me, me, maybe maybe I will not take you too. Yes. So, so what you are saying to him if you wash my car and then you promise him something and that something is not uh, is not to uh, exist It's mean to say he's lying to us. What do you mean? Maybe so, so you are saying to me that Allah he says to you if you believe in me, maybe you will go to heaven Not sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Islam is not a sure religion So maybe so you are a, be a believer in maybe you are not believer in God Because maybe I, so if I convert uh, to Islam now based on what you said if I convert to Islam right now, maybe I will go to heaven, but not sure. And if I believe in Allah and pray to Allah and do a Ramadan and do jihad and etc., still maybe I will go to heaven. So what this religion is about? All I'm telling you hmm. is Allah is making the ultimate decision. It's on Him. Yeah, I know, but He is the one. Did He make an ultimate decision? Isn't it in the Quran He said that those who do this and this, they will go to heaven? So what do you mean maybe? Because Allah, He made a promise in different verses. He says that those who pray and those who do good deeds, they will go to heaven, and 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 they have no worry. So how in one verse He says there's no baby, and for sure you are going to go to heaven, and you know, and uh, uh, and different verse says maybe you will go to heaven, but it's the same Lord. thing. Read with me. Uh, but give a glad tiding of those who believe and work righteousness, that their portion of his garden beneath which river he promised him heaven here there's no maybe or this with the will of Allah no 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 hold on the will of Allah you are the one who said to me that Allah the will of Allah is maybe but this verse is here it says there's no maybe he is sure read but if you cannot and if you are uh, 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 shorty you cannot then fear the fire of those if, if you will so Allah is saying if you can if you will not do what I'm asking you for you will go for to, to hell guaranteed or there was no maybe so why he when he want he says maybe for the same thing if you pray maybe you will go to heaven if you believe in me maybe you will go to heaven if you do what I say to you maybe you go to heaven and here he says if you do that you go guaranteed to heaven and if you don't do that you will go to hell guaranteed so this is a contradiction I just sent you a link hmm. all the maybes in your Bible can you put it on the screen please all right and uh, the the maybe in my Bible will help you and your maybe I'm just putting it out there okay who is the one who is, who is the one saying maybe in my Bible your God is saying it your prophets is saying okay it. no no read, read for me read me, uh, choose for me a verse choose for me a verse from the Bible go ahead Put it in the day. Here we go. It's here. Link. Okay, it's here. Okay. Hmm. Where is God saying maybe you will go to heaven? Show me. I don't see. I don't see nothing yet. Hmm. It's in the screen. <clears throat> I don't see it yet. It's not. It's not. It no problem. Always... You have the page in the front of you. There isn't. Isn't you who sent me the link? You do not need to see my page. So tell me what the verse where Allah, uh, where, where God, the same. He did the same as your Allah. He is saying maybe you will go to heaven. Maybe I will forgive you. Where? All right. Let me tell you. Okay. It's not a big deal. You see all them, perhaps. So I mean, what? Maybe. I mean, okay. Well, you see the Bible. You see, you, you don't. Uh, let us be smart, my friend. I'm trying to speak to you in respect. The Bible written mm -hmm. by a prophet of God, and they are inspired by God. So what we will see there, we will see God sometimes is talking, sometimes the prophet is them talking. Now show me where God is saying maybe. You said to me, mm -hmm. so what you did, you go into the Bible, you put the word maybe or perhaps in the Bible, and you come with many verses, but you forgot that the Bible is speaking about people talking too. So where God he is not sure, where where God is not sure, show me the verse where it says God is not sure. Yeah, I said, and then what you did? I'm asking you, are you going to answer or are you going to just try to divert my topic? No, 
I'm about to no, you you don't want talking about the subject. So no, I'm, I'm talking the about the subject here. There, those are verses where it says maybe this is where, where God said maybe you search you search in the subject, then, you said perhaps, Genesis, but where God he says maybe Genesis 27 12. Mm -hmm. My father perhaps will feel me. Okay, this is a prayer. My my father perhaps. <laughs> That's Jesus. That's uh, Jesus. My, my friend, okay. my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay. Hold on. What, in Genesis? Genesis what? 27 12. Okay. Genesis 27 12. This is Jesus talking? Yes. Okay. Read carefully and let us see how let us see how Jesus is talking. Let us let us laugh together. Where it says that Jesus is talking. Who's talking? You tell me. Uh, you tell me who is talking God, there. Who is no, no, you tell me. I want to see how smart you are. Who is the one is talking there? Who is the one saying, perhaps my father? Who is the one? The, who is the one is talking? You are I the one who made Jesus, the claim. No, you are the one who made the claim. Prove it. Listen to me, Abdul. You and said this is Genesis. And, and you you said from, you said the one who's the talking there Jesus. is Jesus. Hold on, hold on. You are everybody is hearing you. You said the one is talking there is Jesus. Are you sure? I said and the Bible from Jesus. You see, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't like city talk. Why you are lying? Why you are saying the one is talking there is Jesus? Twenty-seven, twelve. I, okay, where it says that the one is talking there is Jesus. I'm asking you. Put it on the board and, and let us see. My friend, it's in the front of us in the screen. Where in there? Here we go. Where in there it says the one is talking there is Jesus. It's not here. I see. I see parallel verses. New American. <laughs> Yes, perhaps, okay. perhaps, mm. my father. Mm. Who is the one is talking? Read, read verse number one, ah. verse number two, verse number three, verse number four, and everybody will laugh at you. Why you are lying? Lying about what? You said the one is talking there is Jesus. Yes. Well, show the me God. where the don't make me hang up on you. I don't, I don't like city talk. Where it says the one is talking there is Jesus. Please. Don't make me lose my my, my, my patient with you. I'm, I'm speaking to you as a man. Be as a man. So where there it says that the one is talking there is Jesus. The, 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 the whole chapter there is about Jacob and Isaac. And you are nothing but a deceiver. The chapter is about talking to God. The chapter right? talking about Jacob and Isaac. The and the one is talking the there. Problem? People are talking. People are talking. Those are people. They are human. Why you are lying? Okay. Why you are Exodus, lying? Why you are lying? Exodus, Why you say Exodus, the one there 32, is talking? No, listen, listen, you are a liar. Exodus, 32, you 30. are no, don't change, don't Exodus, change. Why, why you are jumping Exodus, now? Why you are jumping? 32, 32. So the first one did not work. We jump to the second one. So now you admit, admit first that you are a liar. Admit, 32, admit, admit that you are a liar. This is this this chapter about Exodus, Jacob and Isaac. 32, Why you are 30. lying? Abdul, Exodus, Ab Abdul, 32, Abdul, 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 you are a liar like your prophet. They, and we got you, people, and we got you, and we got you, we got you busted. We got you busted. We, yes, perhaps if Moses, Abdul, Abdul, if sin. Moses, he said, this he just said, everybody is laughing at you. If Moses, he said that Moses is said, how you say to, my, to us that the Lord, he said, but when he is not saying, and you are the one who he chose to me. Lord. Shut up, he shut up, shut up. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. You are a coward like your prophet, and we get you busted. Lord. We got you busted. Numbers. Abdul, Abdul, you are a coward like your prophet. However, no, however, numbers. however, numbers. however, hold on, hold on, hold on. We answer you about the Bible. Now let us go to the Quran. Are you trying to run away? No. Okay, let us go to maybe. You are the one who said to me, Allah, you have a decision. You, you, you are the one who said to me, you are the one who said, Allah have a decision, right? And in one verse, he confirmed that you are going to go to heaven. The other verse, he said, maybe. How you, how you explain to me, stop, stop, stop jumping like a monkey, trying to change the topic, and we got you busted. Your God, Allah, he said, your God, Allah, he decide. Hold on, hold on, Abdul. Allah, he decide in, in his book. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We, we can, we can go Lord. anywhere you want. Let us finish the topic. You coward. You coward. You coward. You coward. You coward. Just, the Lord is he, will come meet me. Just, just, you know. I mean, look how coward they are. Prophet of God speaking. Isaac and Jacob is talking. We make it God. He is not sure. What a coward liar you are. The whole point is how we can avoid the disaster in front of us. 
Jesus is talking in Genesis 27. You are a coward liar like your prophet. Yes. <clears throat> you made me fart. <laughs> this guy, he want to play for me, Quran. <laughs> you know, look what they do. They go and search in the search engine in Google. And okay, it says maybe. I want to show you, it says, brother, it says maybe. So we type the word maybe, or we type the word perhaps, and then we come to a conclusion. Look how many times the word perhaps. Stupid. Silly. The Quran is the word of Allah, word by word. The one is talking is Allah, especially when it says that Allah is talking, like some verses it says, like Musa says to his people in the Quran. So we will let that go. I'm not, I'm not counting that. But when Allah, he says, maybe, then you need to explain to me. And then you say to me, because Allah, he have the decision. Well, Allah, he made the decision, as you see. The hadith in the front of us says that Allah, before he created you, he decided for you what you will do. As an example, the sin of Adam, was, was it maybe, or it was a decision Allah, he made 40 years before Adam was created? Muhammad he says that it was not a maybe. Read carefully. Muhammad saying that Allah he decided the sin of Adam 40 years before his creation. So now here you ask yourself, is the forgiveness for Adam was maybe? And why he will forgive him? If he is the one who made him sin. The Muslim, they believe in the pre-destiny. Uh, and as you see the conversation in front of us, Muhammad saying that Adam and Musa, they have a debate. And Musa, he blamed Adam for the sin he did. And he said to him, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam answered back and he said, do you blame me for a sin which Allah he ordained for me 40 years before my creation? So let us say here, in, there's a verse in the Quran. It says that Adam, he asked Allah forgiveness. Adam, he asked Allah forgiveness. Why? If Allah is the one who ordained a sin, which he should do. Why even Adam need to ask Allah for forgiveness? Read carefully. Do you blame me for doing the deeds which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? I should do. Do you see the word said I should do? So you can go right now to a Bible website and search for maybe and everybody will laugh at you. Maybe Allah will forgive Adam or Allah will Allah should not forgive Adam because Adam commit no sin. That's stupid. Actually, it is Allah who is guilty, not Adam. Do you blame me? So blame who? Blame Allah. This is what the hadith is saying. Why you blame me? Blame Allah. So are you going to answer Abdul or you want to play the game of maybe? You're gonna finish the maybe. Pull, look, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is saying maybe. maybe. Look, okay, okay. We will go anywhere. That is one by one. So how Allah, how how why we cannot blame Allah? So why we you why, said okay he's not saying maybe, he's okay. saying maybe. So what Jesus said, read for us. Look what? Look what? 1412. Okay, read for us. No, you you put no, it. No, you read it for us, read it for us. When you say something, when I say something, I show it to you in the screen. And everybody will laugh at you. And now you read it for us. Let's go ahead and pull us to Luke, please, 14, 12. Okay. Read it for please. us. Please. Go ahead. Hold on. Give me, give me a second. <clears throat> this is Jesus talking now, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Jesus always, Jesus mm. also said to the man who had invited him, mm. I'm quoting Jesus, mm. when you give a dinner or a supper, mm. do not invite your friend or your brothers mm. or your relatives mm. or wealthy neighbors. Mm. You're talking about uh, who can eat in your house. Mm. Maybe they also will invite you in return. Hmm. And so you are. So what? Back. What is the problem there, Abdul? You said Jesus. Uh, don't, don't Jesus know the future? No, no. He's he's, to, he's, to, he's talking. This, you see, you are being silly here. You are seeing. He is giving an example Abdul, that if you do that to Jesus them, no, 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 no. You see, no, 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 no. You see, you are being stupid here because at the end of the day, I might invite you, and yet you will not invite me because you are cheap. So you are being stupid, silly. If there is many people, they invite people many times, and yet the other ones, you will not invite them. So you are being very silly and very stupid. The maybe we are talking about in the Quran about forgiveness. Maybe he will forgive you. Not maybe he will well, invite you. It's a guy. It's, it's two guys here it's talking. Good, uh, listen, listen, Abdul, you are a liar, stupid. Here we are talking about if you invite them, maybe they will invite you because it's a, it's a freedom of a choice. But there it's God speaking. Maybe I will forgive you. Why he? My, why he's maybe? He's not sure. It's not other guy who is invited and maybe he will invite me back. Here we are talking about God who is saying, maybe he will divorce you. Maybe yes. he will forgive you. Or Allah is not yeah. sure he will forgive you or not. It, it, and Jesus showed that. <laughs> Abdul, he is saying to him, everybody is laughing at you. If you invite people, maybe they will invite you in return, which means do good to them. So they might give it, get do return back to you. This is what it says. It's not about I forgive your sin. When Jesus said your sin is forgiven, did he say maybe your sin forgiven? Or your sin is forgiven? So look what you are comparing. You are comparing yourself because you are a silly person who are trying to escape the reality that your God is a scam. He is not sure if he is going to forgive. We are talking about God who is not sure he can forgive you or not. He promised you heaven, but in the same time, he is not sure if you go to heaven or not. This is what we are talking about. And you are talking about Jesus saying to him, if you invite somebody, so maybe he might invite you back. How silly, how stupid you are. Apologize for being stupid, please. You call apologize, it apologize about... for being stupid. You are you are certified you are... stupid now. Everybody is laughing at you. So you went and you they searched and you came back you. with this. You now let us, let us go back. No, he did not say future. no, he did not say maybe the maybe we are talking about here. Maybe hey, my friend, listen, 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 listen. In, in your Bible stupid. that you don't know. None of now. them is none of them is what we are talking about. None of them. I can find the word maybe all over. So what? But this maybe. is not what we are talking. We are talking about God forgiveness. God, He is not sure He will forgive you. Oh, what, what God forgiveness? <laughs> the Quran. God, God the Quran says, Asa, When we say, maybe, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Okay, Abdul. Maybe when, when you say, when you say to That's me, when you say to me, when you when you say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let don't jump. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, Put chapter four. Six, stop, six, stop, six, stop five. shouting, coward. Answer me. Allah, here when he talk, he's talking about what? You put Surah 66. Answer me. Five. Answer okay. me. Put it back out there. Answer me. Put it back out there. Which one? Which six, one? Six, five. What? The verse you were talking about. Which one? The first verse you, when you first started, you put Surah 66, verse number five. Okay. Out and, and go ahead. Yeah, where is it at? Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Go ahead. Here we go. I don't see it yet. Okay. <laughs> I see 99. You promise me first, you will not change it. You will not run away from that verse you choose. You choose it, right? No, I'm not. In the front of everybody, everybody will see how coward you are and you will change the topic after two seconds. You choose this verse. Let us finish it. Go ahead. Tell me what you want to say. I did. Okay. Yes. It it may be, mm. if he, maybe if he divorce you, mm. that Allah will give him in exchange mm. consort as okay. a wife. Okay. So, you are telling me, Jesus, if if you give, maybe they will give you back. I like talking here about Muhammad's wife. This is not about going to Jannah. Who is the one who will do the, the second maybe action? Who is the one who will do the action? Allah, right? Who is the one yes. who will do the action? Okay, so you look, let me show you how silly you are. The verse you gave me about Jesus, it says that the other guy, he maybe do that, right? Which means if you do good, maybe they will do good back, back, you know, back to you. But here it's Allah, he is saying, maybe he will do that. Maybe he, he, not the other guy, not someone in the street. 
So you are being silly, you are being stupid. And let me ask you a question here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When Allah He says, maybe, maybe if He divorce you, maybe if He divorce you, do Allah knew that if He is going to divorce them or not? That that means the same way. But Jesus didn't know. No, no, Jesus, no, 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 no. This is. Uh, Jesus, is telling you, uh, hold on, no, 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 no. Jesus, you. Jesus is speaking to everybody. To Jesus is speaking to everybody. No, Jesus is speaking to everybody. So if you, it, it, when you pray as a Christian, you say, "Our Father, forgive us." So why? Because we forgive to you others. So ask for forgiveness. Been in the Bible, Abdul, 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 you are a stupid. You, you are a liar. You same time, same people. time, same time. You promised me how to change the topic, right? Isn't it this verse? Yes. Isn't it this verse made by Omar al Khattab? This verse, you're lying. This verse is made by Omar al Khattab. Is it or not? Okay, go up, go up. No, no, go, I'm asking go, you. Go, I'm asking go, you. No, 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 no. I'm asking go, you. Ask and answer the question. Is this verse made by Omar al Khattab? I said. Uh, is, this verse is, is, is about. Is this verse? What it was about? Answer. Let me is, is, this ver is this verse? Is this verse? Is this verse made by Omar al-Khattab? No. Why not? Let me tell you why. Why not? Okay. Mm. Go to verse number four. Be, uh, be, before that verse, go up. Uh, number three. Go up. Go up. Go up a little bit. I want you to read let's, with me. Let's no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want you to read with me. You said no. Why are you lying? All the go Muslims first, agree. No, go up. All, all, yes, no, no, all, no, no, no. Go up. All, all, no, put, all Muslims agree. Hey, we are going up. We are going up. You. Why, why about, you don't want to no. read? Why you don't want to read? Abdul, let us read together. Is, 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 is that first. your is that ask your prophet? Question. Hold on. Is that Omar Khattab saying that he is the one who made the verse? Are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Okay, let me tell you guys what this verse is no, about. No, 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 no. But before you tell me, tell me, read, 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 read. Does it say that Omar Khattab? Does it say that Allah agree? Does it say that Allah agree with me? Does it say that Allah agreed with me? Does it does it say that Allah does it say that one of coward you will not read, right? You, you will not coward son of Muta. You will not read. It's in the front of us. It says that Allah He agreed with me in three things, and one of them is this verse. We ask Him who is the one who made this verse, and this is why He is not sure. This is why He is not sure, and He is saying maybe because this is what Omar Khattab He said maybe His Lord was going. Even it says His Lord. Look, maybe His Lord. It doesn't say even maybe Allah. It says maybe His Lord. Why he is not sure about maybe his Lord? Asa Rabbuhu, Asa Rabbuhu, maybe his Lord. Who is talking? If Allah is the one who is talking, how he say maybe his Lord? Who is who is his Lord? If I am the Lord, why is why I say maybe his Lord? So it may be if he divorce you that his Lord, not Allah. This is a false translation. That his Lord will give him a better woman and exchange you. And that's exactly what Omar Khattab he said. Are you there, Muhammad? Hello? Okay, you call me the right <laughs> So, is it true that Omar is the one who made this verse? Yes or no? Listen to me, man. Listen to me, man. Is, is it true that Omar, Let he is telling the truth here? I ask you the is, I'm asking you, is it true that Omar is the one who said, is it true? Shut up, shut up. I want an answer. I want an answer. The verse, a hadith in front of us, this is sahih. Is it sahih that Omar, he said that it's maybe your Lord will divorce you? Am I, am I lying? I am telling you that to pull the verse before that verse number two before we go to truth. that verse uh, we're talking so about have, we are talking about this go. verse hold on hold on is this verse uh, according to Omar is Omar lying he is he said my Lord agree with me my Allah he agree with me do you agree with Omar um the Christian Prince you are hiding the truth to your people. Abdul uh, answer is it true that the one who said it's maybe your Lord will divorce you is it true that Omar is the one who said read, read carefully with me read carefully with me read read carefully. you are a liar he would, I have the reference in the front of me you coward what do you mean I'm liar Oh, Omar okay, Khattab, okay, Omar me, Khattab, he said, "You are a potato. You don't dare to read." When Omar he said, "Why you don't want to read it?" Okay, the Omar, okay, answer me. We will go to the verse before it. When Omar he said, "Allah agree with me," and he is the one who said to to them, 
Asa Rabbuhu an talaqahunna. Did he lie, Omar, when he said that Allah, he is copying me? I said, let me read it for you, right? No, no, I'm asking you the hadith. Does it, is it a true? If he, when he, when Omar, he said that Allah, he agree with me and he copied the verse as I said, is it a true? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Uh, the prophet has trusted some of his wife with a certain this is another statement. question i'm not asking about, uh, them, i'm not asking about them, the prophet now i'm not asking about it. don't change the topic and, abdul and don't change the topic allah this is not this is not the, this is not the question potato this is this is not the question this is not the question the hadith in the front of us sahih al-bukhari it says part so it. the verse shut up so the verse he, the verse the me. same as i, I had verse. said the verse came the verse same shut up verse and read shut up and read. You. so you are trying to avoid that omar khattab said that allah is in the verse as i said is that what you're trying to do i am going by the quran no problem so what do you mean going go by the quran five, hold, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on everybody is laughing so you don't want to read this verse the hadith why why you don't want to read it I gotta read the Quran first. No problem. No, source. no, you are you are, you are going to different verse. You are going to different verse. This verse have nothing to do. Hold on. The verse is the verse it says. So the verse this came the same as I had said. Explain to us. Everybody is listening. I will give you the time. Why Allah copy word by word from Omar? It may be your Lord. If he the prophet okay, he divorced you, it may okay, be. Now, Guys, let me read, read, read. Let me read what. Let me read what Allah has copied from Omar. Let, let me read that. Okay, go uh, read. In the Quran. The Prophet okay. made. No, read. No, hear the hadith. Copied. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. No. Everybody, don't make me block you. Honestly, I'm losing my voice. Me, don't make I me. I know you block so, you because I call you lying. You are That's a liar. You I cut you liar. This Here we go. True. This is the Every source of the I verse. You lying, Shut up, son of Mutah. You, you are a coward and don't call me again, you coward. You will not read. Coward. Because here we have the secret. The maybe here is not a baby of God. It's a maybe of Amr al Khattab. And this is why you coward. You don't want to read it. Coward. Hello. If you call me one more time, you didn't talk, I will block you. Are you there? One more time, you call me again, you don't talk, I will block you. You see guys how they lie? Go to the verse before it, go to the verse, it doesn't matter. We have a clear proof. This is authentic, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. It says that I say to them, who is saying? Omar. I say to them, it may be. So you stupid idiot, you are saying to me here, maybe is the same as Jesus, maybe. But obviously, you are a liar. Because Jesus saying to them, if you do good, so maybe people would do good to you. Because it's not a must. For there's some people, they are evil. You do good to them, they do evil back to you. This is not about Jesus, something he will do. He is not sure if he's going to forgive them or not. Coward, stupid. In the front of us here, we have a clear proof that Omar saying it may be. It's Omar saying that. And he is confirming that so the verse came the same as I had said. Exactly. And this is why we see it may be. It may be his Lord. You see, if Allah is talking, if he is God, he will not say it may be his Lord. But the one is talking is Omar. And now everybody is laughing at you, you coward, trying to refuse to read it. This is why you don't want to see. And he is the one who said, let us read that verse. And here we need to ask ourselves, why Allah did not send the verse before Omar, he said the verse. How God can be inspired by a man, his name is Omar, not even by the prophet. The whole story is very simple. Omar, he said that to Muhammad. Muhammad, he liked what Omar said. He put it in the Quran. And he did that many times. And this hadith confirmed that. And by the way, this is a very authentic, correct hadith. 
Some hadith even they say he agree with him in five times, five things. Some they say six, some they say seven. Yes. Yeah, can you hear me? I do. Go ahead. Yeah, so Allah revealed the verse uh, according to this you know, situation. Hmm. So Umar Anhu, he wanted us something to take place and then Allah revealed accordingly. So it, what happened was the uh, um, what Allah revealed, it was uh, it was basically how can I say now? It was it's like what Umar Anhu wanted, it, it, it was like united on that. I don't understand anything. Anyone understand anything? Try to explain better, please. Uh, why Allah is copying Umar? Umar is the one who said that to the wives of Muhammad. So why Allah he copy exactly what Umar said and even using the word maybe? Umar he have the right to say maybe because he's not sure. Maybe it's a wish. I you know I pray to God to do something right. But Allah he copy copy the word of Umar. He made a mistake because he copied it first of all, and this is proof that the Quran cannot be from God. Because you are copying a man. How you Muslim you say to us, make a Quran like this if you can, and then we find that Allah Himself is copying the Quran from a man, his name is Omar. But I, I want to go back to the prophecy you were talking about. You know, I'm talking about this. No, no, we want to focus on this a little bit, my friend. Because your 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 brother before you, he tried to run away to escape it. This is the disaster. If nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. How Allah he copy exactly as Omar said and make it Quran, but nobody can make Quran like Quran of Allah. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, I don't have the answer to that. One. Okay, well, I respect your your honesty, and then we let us move. Then now the second question will be: As long Omar he said it may be your Lord, he will divorce you. Shouldn't Allah? Even if you like the idea of Omar and what Omar he said, change the words and say, I divorce you. What it means, it's your Lord. Who is the one who's talking? And why he's saying it's maybe? Um, can, I, can I read it? I haven't read it properly. Go ahead. You, you, what do you want to read? The hadith? You want to read the hadith or uh, you want to read the verse? Uh, the hadith first and then. Okay. Uh, if you zoom, yeah, if you can zoom out a bit. Okay. You want to read from the beginning to the end or what do you want? Yeah, beginning. Okay. okay, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. have you zoomed out? R read so I can uh, I can move down because the height is so long to uh, to have it in 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 one shot. Oh, it says my Lord agreed with me in three things. I said, Oh, Messenger you know, Allah, I wish we took the station of Ibrahim uh, Ibrahim Islam as our praying place for some of the prayers. So came the divine revelation. I take you the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. For some of the prayers so yeah i understand that okay and then the second one about the hijab and as regards the uh, wailing of the woman i um yeah i can't see that okay and then uh, last one the pro uh, the prophet he have fights with his wives and then omar he came and he spoke to the wives and muhammad he heard what what he said and allah he sent the verse as omar is saying how in the world can be i mean how clear it is that the one is saying maybe it is omar and Muhammad he copy it and that this is why I make it look funny because God he knew if he would divorce them or not God he knew what you what would happen to them once the wives of the Prophet made a united front against the Prophet and I said to them it may be if he the Prophet divorced you or hmm. that his Lord Allah will give him instead of you a wife better than you hmm. so this verse the same as I had said was revealed exactly word by word but I mean the the same as I had said it does in brackets. No, no, no. It says there. It may be. It says here, it says my friend, Arabic. my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Do, do you speak Arabic? Uh, I understand a little bit. If okay. you go well, to the Arabic, I yeah. Uh, but it, it, even the English is clear. I mean, it says clearly that it's the same as I say. The same as I said. It's not like uh, it's and even it says it may be if he if he the prophet divorce you. If we go to the verse on the Quran, it says exactly the same. Read it. It may be. If he divorce you, his Lord, you see this is a translation. He says that Allah it doesn't say in Arabic Allah. It says his Lord. Exactly the same. Asa Rabbuhu in So maybe his Lord. It's exactly as he said. And this is explained why the word it may be is there. Because this is not what it was not the statement of Allah. It was the statement of a man. His name is Umar al-Khattab. But I mean, the, the, the full verse is obviously not from Umar Adi'an. The full verse is uh, like it's only that part, um, you can say just that starting part. 
I mean, that's that's my, my, my friend. My friend, the whole the whole verse is very small. The translation make it big, but as you see in Arabic, it's so small. So uh, 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 Omar, Omar, he says that Allah, he agree with me. The verse came as I said. He didn't say part of it. The verse came as I said, as you see. So and what they exchange you? I mean, how how in the world can that? that uh, this is not even disrespect. The Arab they used to exchange women. Exchange is not divorcing them. You see here in Arabic it says divorce them. This is a false translation. In Arabic it says you who which means he is going to exchange women. Okay, how you can exchange them? It says in Arabic a divorce, but here it says actually it says here in translation exchange. Exchange is yeah. something the Arab they used to do. Exchange, yeah. change them. Exchange mean what? Exchange means I take your wife, you take my wife. That's what the Arab they used to do. So they exchange women. So you go to your neighbor, he says, Are you bored with your wife? You don't like her? Okay, you know what about you take my wife? I take your wife. This is exchange. This is what you bet do. This is what the Arab they used to practice. So what kind of God he says to him, if you if if you know to the women, if you don't repent, okay, and it may be his Lord will divorce you. And yet the one is talking is Allah. First of all, Allah He knew if they would repent or not. Secondly, Allah He knew if they, He's going to divorce them or not. Number three, He knew if they will repent or not, and they would. Yes, yeah, so what? It's so, a warning to them. Okay, so why He is saying to them this a threat? Because uh, of the of the, what what they were doing, the, whatever what they, what, they were doing. What they were doing. It's a warning. What what they it's were a doing. To them okay, that, what they were know, doing. The let, let, me, let, let me let me ask you what they were doing. Um. Can't remember exactly why it was. It's something that uh, they wanted the worldly life. Or what they want? What they wanted the worldly life. Like, like you know, what? They wanted money. I think and yeah. What, what they want? I don't understand. What the worldly life? So they wanted like uh, uh, I think they wanted more money or something. No. Or they desired no, the world. No, no. They found Muhammad having sex with the with with, with the women in their bed, and any woman she have the right to uh, to object that. I mean, show respect. What kind of a prophet you bring uh, uh, the maid? And you take off her panty and you jump in the top of her in the bed of your wife so the women they are right and this is a man you know he will go he used God to always to 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 to, sh to shut up the, the 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 women look what happened he the, this he, is he the wife no he, he had, did not he honor the women. no he did the not honor them he did not read with me this is your scholar it says oh prophet Muhammad he made a verse says why you forbid yourself what Allah made lawful for you Okay, what Allah made lawful for him? Let us laugh together. Oh, Prophet, why you do forbid what God made lawful for you? Uh, 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 in in terms of the Coptic handmaid Maria, since when the handmaid is lawful for the Prophet to have sex with her? And what kind of a Prophet? He slept with the with the with the, with the with the handmaid in the house of Hafsa in her bed. So when Hafsa she said she came, she said to him, "Fi bayti wa ala sariri, in my house and in my bed, you are doing that." This is what happened. So they made the United Front of against him because he is a mad person. He is not a decent man. Yeah, that, that's that, that's probably a, his slave girl. Uh, okay. No, well, okay, okay. Is, are you allowed in Islam to have sex with a slave girl? She is a gift, or only a captive? Even a gift is fine because that's no. trading of slaves. Okay, show me the verse in the Quran. It says it's allowed for you to have a sex with the gift. The Quran speak about Malik Malakatul Yameen. Malakatul Yameen is only capture of war. Yeah, it's proven from the action of the Prophet because the okay. Prophet did it. So no, 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 no. Are you following Allah or are you following the Prophet? The Prophet explains the revelation. No, no, so no, 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 no. He did not explain. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. He will explain. The verse here says, "Why you forbid what is made lawful for you?" So show me where it's made lawful for you because he forbid it already. The verse saying. Why you forbid what is made lawful for you? Can you show me the verse where it says that it made lawful for a Muslim man to have sex with the maid? I will give you ten thousand years to come back with the answer. You will not find no, it. No, it's yeah, but I'll be the slave. Uh, it says about the slave. No, 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 right no. The versus... slave, no. The slave in the Quran, the one you can have sex with, is the captured. Malikatul Yamin is captured. Is not just a slave. So where in the Quran it says you can have sex with a slave who is not captured? She was captured by the other person, the, the no. other country. Ah, no, he, no, he, she, he, she, no, he wasn't captured by him in war. He received her as gift. 
And yeah, why, and why and why you're a prophet? He accept gifts a human being as gift. He opened the box. He found gifts a human being, and he start having sex with them. What do you think about that? And why and why he is doing he that? And why he is doing that in the house and in the, in the bed of the wife? Do you think this is respectful? If you have yourself, if you are a Muslim and you have a maid, you bought a slave from somewhere, and now you, your wife she come and she find you in the top of her in her bed. Is that something you are proud about? Obviously, the wife will not be happy. But um... no, this is not the question. Is that a, is that a, is that a behavior of a gentle, good man, or this is a savage behavior? Disrespect to the wife. I mean, that's his house. Huh? His house, house, his house. No, this is her house too. Yeah, it's his house. So why he so... say this is your house if it's not his her, her house? If this is the house of any woman, this is not her house. If this bed is for any woman, this is not her bed. So you are saying to me, you Muslim men, you marry a woman and then you bring a bunch of women, you sleep in the bed of the wife and the wife she can watch. And you have no problem with that. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have no problem? Be honest with me. Do you have no problem? You bring women and your wife is in the house and you start having sex with the women and you have I mean, no this is with tafsir. That? I, I don't know if it's authentic if it's my not. friend this is your tafsir this is your islamic website this is a jedi lane it's not me i mean what's wrong with muslims i show them what is what their book says and they say to me this is tafsir so what about go with by who by the christian tafsir this is your scholars so what where is the logic here what what, what is the good man inside your prophet i mean Okay, you want to have sex with a slave? Okay, what about you take her to the house of the slave? Or you, you buy a house? Why in the house of your wife, in the bed of your wife? And he is doing that with all the women to the point it, it says they made a united front against him. Why? Because all of them, they are suffering from the same problem. Be honest with me. If you have a daughter, uh, with my respect to your family, if you have a daughter and her husband, he had sex with the slave, in his house in the front of your daughter do you respect do you are you going to call your the husband of your daughter and say to him divorce my wife my, my daughter immediately do you really like, appreciate such a man be honest with me i mean islam allows uh, four wives so no this no this is not the question i'm not talking about four wives what, what do you mean four wives is that is that mean you can have sex with wives in front of other wives no, you can't do it. In front. Okay, so why he is doing that in the when you do it in the bed of the wife? It's mean the wife she will be there. Here we go. The women she is there. She came. She got him busted. So when you do it in the house and in the bed of your wife, it's mean you don't care. She can come anytime. I'm where the women she will go. She don't work in yeah. the company. She don't work yeah, in our. Maybe she walk in. Huh? Maybe she walk in the room. Your voice is bad, my friend. Say again. Uh, I said maybe she walked. Yeah, she walked in the room, but that wanted to change anything. Sorry, I have I have to hang up on you. Your voice is, is bad. So you see, guys, we prove it clearly that Muhammad is a false prophet, and he subjugate God to the point he make him serve his sexual desire. And why Muhammad is having sex with the maid? I mean, this, like you know, the story, the story of Abraham. Hello? 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 Speak louder, please. Hey, hello, how are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Uh, this is um, very not true. This is what? This is a lie. What is a lie? Like you're saying the Prophet ﷺ slept to someone. Okay, what? Well, okay, okay. Who is who is the, who is the one who's making the lie? Who is the one who's making the lie? No, you're trying to make it seem like he did something bad. It is allowed. It's allowed to have sex with this with with, with the maid in Islam, right? Yes, it is. Um, the Prophet, if that happened, yes, it's allowed. Okay, so you if you have a maid at home, you have sex with your wife. You have sex with the maid. Whoever in the house, you have sex with it. Okay, so the prophet was sleeping with his uh, maid, and then the woman come and said, "You know, I do this." The prophet he made a promise that saying, "Okay, I will not do, 
I will not do this again. And then Allah called back and said, Allah answered and said, why are you saying you are not allowed to do something I have made lawful for you? Mm. What, so, yes. And, okay, can you show me the verse where, where in the Quran it says, Allah, he made it lawful for him. The eye you just reading. That one there on top. No, this verse, no. This, so are you saying to me, the Prophet, he made a mistake and he was foolish about what Allah, he allowed him to do? It wasn't a do? mistake. It wasn't a mistake. He said, I will... He said, I will not do it anymore. Okay. But Allah is... Yeah, he forbid good. himself. It says, Lima to Haram. He, he forbid himself. Did he forbid himself from doing that? It says to Haram. Uh -huh. It says in Arabic to Haram, which means he forbid. So why you forbid yourself from doing what I made lawful for you? So are you saying to me, the verse confirming that Muhammad, he broke the command of Allah and he forbid what he should not forbid? No, he didn't forbid it. He made a promise to his wife. No, he didn't forbid. Like no, it says in Arabic, Lima to Harim. Do you know what to Harim mean? Do you know what the yeah, word Haram mean? He, for, he forbid it upon thank himself you. only. So oh, thank you. So he forbid something. Can you forbid something upon yourself? It's lawful. Is it allowed or this is a sin? Okay. Um. First of all, the thing, um, like, you know, the, the main thing that you're talking about, mm. you can choose to sleep with her. You can choose not to sleep, even a slave woman. You can choose to sleep with her, you can choose show not me, to sleep show, with her. Show me the so when the you show me no reference, you show me this only this verse now? Because when Allah, he says to him, why you forbid what Allah made lawful for you? It's mean he'd lawful for him from before. So it can't be this verse. You have to show me a previous verse before this one, because it's made, it says, Allah, he made lawful for you. So Muhammad here, supposedly, he should know better that Allah, he made lawful for him. Where is the verse that says that Allah, he made it lawful for him? The one you are reading now is saying, I have made a law for you. Why you my friend, this, cannot be, the, this is cannot be the verse because he says he made, 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 made in the past. Why you are forbidding what Allah made, made lawful for you. you read it the, okay, you read it the where, is, where is the verse? Okay, where is the verse that says Allah, he made lawful for him to rape, to rape slaves? First of all, who is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sleeping with? His, uh, his maid. He says that? Yeah. Here we go. It says homemade. Oh, yeah, homemade. Here we go. Do you see it? This is your this is your Islamic website. This is your translation, and this is a Jalal line. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. If the Prophet is sleeping with Mike, you do realize then it's not forbidden, yeah? Why, why? But no, it says it says it says why you forbid what is not forbidden. Okay. Where it says in the uh, Quran is not uh, forbidden for I'll you. Be honest. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, there was a verse before that allowed, but I'm just saying, according to this verse, it is allowed. That's all I'm saying. So, no, according to this verse, this verse is to correct Muhammad. Yes. Okay. To so, not but, it's something but, upon this, yourself but this, that Allah but, has allowed. But, but this verse confirmed already that Muhammad, he should know better. This is why he's asking him, why you forbid what I made lawful for you? Because if you do not know, then he should not say to him, why you forbid? You should say to him, this is allowed. This is allowed. That's it. Do not do not to say why you forbid. He says to him, This is allowed, and you can't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the verse. Maybe there's a verse already saying the one your right hand possesses. Maybe that's the one. I don't know. Anyway, let, let us let us let us focus here. What do you think about Omar saying that Allah he took the Quran from me and he copied his Quran? Omar is the one who made this verse where it says it may be Allah will forgive you. Why Allah is copying from Omar? What do you mean, copy? Well, the, the hadith says in Sahih al-Bukhari that Allah, he took the verse as Umar, he said, and he made the Quran. Oh, Read it. Yeah, it's good. Focus on you, please. Huh? The hadith in the front of me, it says that Umar, he says, exactly as the Quran said. And Allah, he took it and he made the Quran. Read the hadith. Um, yes, I, I know what it's saying. Hmm. So, how Allah, he, why Allah is copying from Omar? Who is Omar? Is, is Omar Allah? Who is Allah? Omar is the Sahabi of the Prophet. Okay. Who, who is the one who made Quran? Allah or Omar? Um, first of all, you have to realize something. Hmm. But I, um, you have to realize that if a Prophet said, even if the Prophet was to say the same word, even if the Another Arab that's not even Muslim would say the same word, and Allah revealed the same word. Mm. It just meaning that Allah revealed it, it's not a big deal. What does that mean? For yeah. example, Umar, um, do you know how the Quran, the Quran was revealed because of you know on this, not on like one together, it was revealed because of activities that happened. Mm. So if I to say, if me as a Muslim was to say to the Prophet, oh, as, as in Umar, Umar, let's go back to Umar now. 
when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he captured a lot of, you know, war enemies. And um, he asked the Sahaba, oh Sahaba, what should I do? Some of them said, make them work for you for free, as in take them as your slaves. And then I think it was Umar who said, kill them all together. And then Allah said, do what Umar said. Hmm. So again, Allah, he take what Umar said and he do it. Yeah, so, damn it, Allah. Okay, is, Allah so, um, okay um, guys, did, you, did, you, did you hear this? Did you hear this? So how the Muslims, they say that the Quran is already written in the house of Allah or in the tablet of Allah. And now the Prophet, he is discussing with his friends what we should do, and then Allah agree with Omar. That's mean the Quran is is not really what Muslims did. No, no, for example, um, Christian, Christian friends. Hmm. For example, let's say you say, "Oh, all oh people, all oh my people, hmm. do not do not eat this kind of animal because it is forbidden." And then Allah will reveal all the people of this guy do not eat this type of animal because it is for I have made of forbidden mm. it doesn't mean he was copying you directly it might mean he was agreeing with what you said and he revealed it and he was already going to reveal it but he revealed it to make you more like because Umar is a sahabi let's okay, not, let me let's ask you let me ask you as, 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 okay, okay let us go with you now as long you agree that Allah he is uh, you know he, he he is revealing as they say but here you notice yes. that Umar he said exactly as the Quran so why? Yes, it has, how, it how Umar, and even though Umar was to say another seven nights after that, and Allah rebuked okay, the same is Umar seven nights, it a make a is, is Umar a prophet? Oh, no, Umar is the greatest, one okay, of the greatest who Sahabi, is the one, Who is the one inspired Umar to say the sentence exactly as it is written in the book of Allah? No, um, Umar bin Khattab said the sentence. He said it by obviously by his own will because he's got a will. Okay. And then Allah revealed the same thing that Umar said because he agreed with what Umar said. It's not a big deal. Thank you very much. So, guys, did you hear it? Allah agreed with Umar. Not a big deal. Okay, now we we, we have a Allah can agree. Allah can agree with anybody. Okay, even no the problem, lowest no of the problem. Lowest. Okay, now we we have a confirmation from you that Umar he said something. Allah agree with it. He take it. He put it Quran. So the Quran was in agreement between God and a man in earth not godly words so you just you just confirmed that this is the word of Omar Allah like it he agreed with it he put it in the Quran thank you very much yeah um first of all um, you keep saying Allah like you know who you're talking about that's what makes me scared you know exactly who you're talking about but you still make um, do you know who's Allah? Mean, the funny the funny, not Allah, the funny Allah, you do you know, know even who's Allah do you know what even Allah means you do not know you yourself, you're a prophet. I, I, I don't know the meaning to okay, be honest. So I'm hearing means the so one the, God. That's this, all about. This is why I say it's funny. You are saying to me, you are talking about Allah, but you do not know who's Allah, as if you know. You yourself, you do not know who's Allah. You do not know what the I word know who Allah, Allah is. It's just I don't know what the word who's means. Who's Allah? Who's express? Allah? Okay, go ahead. Who's Allah? Tell me. I'm listening. Allah is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. What, Creator, that what, what, is, what does that mean? He created the heavens and the earth and whoever's in it and whatever's in it. Okay, I'm not asking you what you do. Who's Allah? That's what Allah, that's who Allah is, the creator of the okay, heavens and the earth. But, but the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. So how Allah is the best of the creators, but there's many creators? How, yeah, but he's the best of the creators. You, okay. you know, your question is not who makes is the, sense. Who is the other creators? Okay, who is there's the, a lot of creators, okay, but he's the name, best of the name, creators. Okay, name for me the other creators. You, me, and everybody on this no, earth. No, no, the creators are not me and you. We, we don't, because yes, we, cannot, we, are, we can no, create stuff. No, no, this is not a creation. A creation is you give life. This is what the Quran says. Okay, is that the one you wanna talk about? No, I'm asking you. You see, you open the topic. First that's... of all, when it okay. says creation, it's not talking about death and life. It's talking about everything. Like who is the everything. one? Who is who is the one who make who make uh, the, the definition of what is a creation? You or me or Allah? Yes, the word itself is. is I'm asking you. Enough. I'm asking you. Who is the one who decide what is a creation? The Quran, right? Okay. Allah, He said in the Quran. Language from Allah. Okay, yes. the, the Quran. The Quran says, chapter 20, 22, verse number seventy-three. Oh my kind, I will give you an example. Why you worship yeah. someone who cannot create a fly? Exactly. So, so the creation here is not about the creation of a bicycle, as you claim. If you can create a fly, then you are qualified to be God. That's that's a different verse. No, I'm asking you. Do you agree with this verse that the one Allah oh, th that Allah is saying? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So you agree that if somebody can create a fly, he is God. If somebody can create a fly, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I will give them everything, inshallah. No, no, I'm asking you. Do you confirm <laughs> that if somebody if some, can... Oh, yes, oh, okay, okay, okay. If somebody can create a fly, there's something to do with like a supernatural. I'm not... Uh, this is another question. If somebody can create a fly, is he God? 
No, he's not God. It's saying Allah is the only God. It's just saying your God okay. can't create anything. For example, well, the Messiah on. can't so create a fly. So are you saying to me, you as a Muslim believe that there is other gods they can create the flies? There's no other God in the earth, on the whole universe that can't so create flies. So why you are saying, to, uh, I'm asking you again, if somebody can create a fly, if there is someone beside Allah, according to you as a Muslim, can create a fly? No, there's no one besides Allah okay. that can't create So why Allah, he says, if you can create a fly, then you are a creator. And then he says in different verse that the best of a creation. No, he doesn't Allah, say that you're lying. It says that. Here we go. It says no, why it you says, worship. Why do you, why friend, do you worship say, the ones yeah, that yeah, why can't you fly. worship someone he can't even create a fly? Which means if he yes, can't create a fly, mean that God for real. If they can okay. create a fly, so the creation he here, can't even do the that. Creation, the creation, thing. the creation your God confirm is a creation of life, not making a table. That is not a creation. That's funny. I mean, since when God. He speak about himself. Are you saying to me that Allah is comparing to himself to the to the to Joe Steve, the, the one who made iPhone? Are you saying to me that Allah comparing to himself to the one who made the computer? And he's saying he's better than him? Are you saying that? First of all, you have to realize there's two types of creation: the creation of supernatural stuff and the creation is that not, is on the is, earth. No, no, so no, when no, Allah no. says I am the best of creators, he means in everything I am the best of the creators. No, not the best of the created. He says the best of the creators. Yes, creators. Okay. Who are, who are the, the other creators? Allah humans are, Allah, humans are creators Allah as well. Comparing, we Allah comparing himself to who? When he say, I am the best of the creators. Everything that exists on the earth. No. No. Because, and everything that exists because in the heavens and the whole universe. Because everything in the earth is a created, not a creator. So yeah, how, but the created okay, can so also how create. Allah, so how, no, how Allah compare himself? You have the intelligence to create. No, you don't have. The intelligence of create will not make you creator. Because simply you created you the are, laptop. No, you are just using what what God He gave you already. That's that's not the creation. What? This is the creation of come an on, idea. Come on. This is not about. This, kind of like this is this. not come about on, creating life. All of us renew that God is God for He create life. So yes. Well, okay. So this is not about creating a computer. Allah He compared Himself to who? Okay. No, no. There's two different verses. The okay, one verse that says let about life. Let, let me ask you. Can we, can we compare? Okay. In, in a second, everybody will laugh. Can we compare God? To someone, he is not equal to God. Some people do, but you can't. No, I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, are you allowed to compare God to something is not equal to God? No, oh, no, but okay. you already so do how you Allah, yourself. So you see how you get yourself busted. How but Allah you compare do it. himself? You Allah, do it. How, how you compare Allah, how Allah compare himself to us? You just said to us, you create a computer. But, and you are the one yeah, who said I'm, to me. I'm, I'm trying to like turn off you because you already compare Allah to the Messiah, the slave of Allah. I am not comparing Allah to the Messiah because the Messiah is God, Allah is the devil. See, that's where you go wrong. You see, God, yeah, that's why Allah says to God. Tell see, me where the Messiah can, ever created a I flag. cannot. Yes, the Messiah created the bird according to the Quran. Don't you know? He created a sand bird, I think. What? He created what? A sand, a bird out of a sand, out of mud. Oh well, Allah, he created the, the Adam from the mud too. Yeah, that's that's another subject. What are you talking about? What do you mean that's the same? How Allah created Adam, he made some. Have you ever created, have you ever hold created on, hold on, hold on, people okay, today create okay, animals so, out of okay, ice? Hold on, so now we agreed that Allah, he made mud and he created Adam. And you agreed that Jesus made mud and he created the bird. So what the difference? What are you talking about? Allah put life into the bird that the Messiah created, no, and Allah no. put life the into verse Adam says, himself, the verse says, and Allah put no, life into the, the Messiah the himself. Verse, the verse says that I breathe into it, Messiah. I breathe. Who is the one who breathed into the bird? Allah or the Messiah? Allah. Huh? Allah. Are you saying the Quran is lying? No, the Quran is not lying. Allah breathed into it. Okay, let's see, because the Quran says different. Don't bring it up because you're going to embarrass yourself. Allah. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> You have to realize the Quran is the word of Allah, okay? So when he says I, Allah is speaking. Uh, I know I know the Quran more than you. Here we go. The Quran says, I That's breathe. Right. Okay, read with me. Here we go. This is your Muslim translation. I breathe. Does it say <laughs> that? Uh, does it say I breathe? You speak Arabic? You know it's because yeah, I I I okay. no, I don't speak okay. Arabic. Okay, it says fa fayakunu tayran. So what yes, you are Allah saying? said, I will breathe into him. No, the Messiah is talking. Don't lie. Oh, brother, come on. You can't lie. Who is the one talking? Okay, know. here we go. Let, let, us like read, let us read the translation. Let us read the translation. Everybody is laughing. Here we go. And and uh, we'll make him a messenger into the ch uh, uh, children of Israel. Lou, come into you with sign from your Lord. He said, the Messiah saying, Messiah saying, I fashion for you from the clay. 
the likeness of a bird and I breathe into it who is the one who fashioned the bird the Messiah who is the one who breathed into the bird the Messiah so why you are lying to me you say it's not yeah, true, yes by breathing you know meaning life a second ago a second it, ago a second ago you see you see how you corrupt yourself a second sorry, ago, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. That was my big mistake. I'm okay, not so lie. you agree now. The one who breathed is the Messiah. Okay. Yeah. When the Messiah, Messiah breathed, okay. Thank you. So God. what? What happened when the Messiah he breathed into the mud? Explain to me. Allah, Allah bring the Allah bring life to the bird. Well, but the one who breathed is the Messiah. Yes, but Allah allowed it. it was, so what? I can I. Uh, so what do you mean allow it? <laughs> I mean this is funny. Uh, so. The Allah he allowed the Messiah to have a breathe can give a life. Allah um, put so, some life. And, into so now, um, so now you agree in that we have two gods. We have God. His name is the Messiah. He created him by breathing, the same as Allah. He created by breathing. Allah allow it. <laughs> for example, um, um Christian okay. prince. Let's imagine when Allah created Adam. Uh, my friend, thank you, thank you for calling. That's enough. We don't want to imagine it's already exposed as long Jesus he breathed from his breathing life is created how in the world you say to me Jesus is not God and they say to you by permission of Allah so what and what is the proof I can say now that Allah exists by by permission too what is the proof talk is cheap but what is confirmed by you that Jesus created from the bird from from the mother bird and what how what he did not only he fashioned it and he didn't say oh God hey Allah uh, la 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 Allah make it happen Allah no he fashioned it and he breathed into it now you say to me by permission of Allah that will not to change the fact that he is capable of a creation that's mean if because Allah did the Allah, you know, uh, here we go. I'm getting Allah busted. Did he prom, uh, uh, permitted me? You might say, Yes, Allah, He allowed you to do that. That's not true. The Quran says, Allah says in the Quran that we shut up all those who, who laugh at you, Muhammad. We shut up all those. Who laugh at you, Muhammad? Chapter 15, verse number 95. The translation here is false. Still, people are laughing at Muhammad. Allah, He says, He gave no permission no more to anyone because Allah, supposedly now, He made Muhammad. That's it. For Shifisant, are we into thee against those who scoof? I'm laughing at Muhammad until now. People are laughing everywhere in the world. This verse is false. So permission of Allah, he did not give me permission to laugh at the Prophet no more. That's it. This is a past tense. If we read the interpretation, you will see it says that Allah, Allah, he will now allow no one to make fun of the Prophet. Where permission? Did he give me permission? No. Jesus, he created from the mother bird, and then you add after it saying, by permission of Allah, that will not change the fact. If you say to me that you can breathe by permission of Allah, that will not change the fact that I can breathe. If you say to me you can swim because by the permission of Allah, that will not change the fact that I can swim. And yet you fail to give me the proof that this is by permission of Allah anyway. Anyone can claim. I can claim now that all the miracle Jesus he did, I give him permission to do it. Correct, guys? Any one of us can say, oh, Jesus even sent by me. I am the one who sent Jesus. Oh, I am the one who even sent Muhammad. I am the one who sent, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Monica Lewinsky to Billy Clinton. You can talk is cheap, but there's a proof. Muhammad, he have zero miracles. If the God of Muhammad is the same as the God of other prophets, then Muhammad should be able to do the same as other prophets. And the Quran full of verses saying that Muhammad, he have zero miracles. And the funny, 
the Muslim they say that the Quran itself is a miracle but we just uh, we, we just witnessed that Allah himself is copying from Omar al-Khattab people in the time of Muhammad keep saying to him why you don't have why you don't have a sign I mean come on you are a prophet of God give us show us a sign so why Jesus have all those signs but Muhammad have zero the people they are desperate we are asking for one sign just give us a sign show us a sign from your God otherwise and this is this is a legitimate uh, uh, request because anyone can claim to be a prophet how we will know the false prophet with the real prophet if you are sent by God God can sponsor you as simple as that the same as he sponsor all the prophets why this prophet he have no signs and when Muhammad he give up you know he have no sign and he cannot provide signs so what he said wait <laughs> have you ever heard of a prophet saying they are asking me for a miracle and I say to them wait and we are waiting wait they indeed for nothing less than that to the answer should come into them or the Lord should come to them or they should come one of the portents from the Lord the Quran is saying what they are waiting for my miracle what they are waiting for angels to come oh maybe they are waiting for me to come or oh, maybe they are waiting for a miracle to come the Quran is saying that and then he says say wait we are waiting to what the heck Allah is waiting to people are waiting for a miracle and he said to them wait and we are waiting send the miracle wait and we are waiting we are waiting until now don't you think it's too late so for how long we will be waiting are they waiting to see angels to come to them or the lord himself or certain of the signs so there's no angels come there's no lord is coming and there's no sign is coming <laughs> are you waiting for a miracle from god don't wait do you see it it's your quran saying that and then he says to him wait we are waiting wait and we are waiting and then in different verse to make it more 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 horrible Muhammad he said the following chapter 17 verse 59 and we refrain from sending signs here we go Allah he joined the yellow vest in France he is in strike he refrained to send signs so how you claim that the signs of Jesus are your signs we refrain from sending signs why because former generation did not believe in them that's a lie here we go we are after 2000 years of Jesus we believe in every miracle Jesus did Moses did all the prophet did that's a lie so why he refrain and how the Muslim they lie to us and they say Allah he sent miracles if he is saying in this verse he refrain did he refrain or he did not refrain and the funny they say that the Quran itself is a miracle if the Quran is a miracle how you say we refrain from sending miracle because by saying this verse you just made a miracle Correct, guys. If the Quran itself is a miracle, how you say we refrain from sending miracles when by saying that statement you just made a miracle? If nobody can make Quran like this Quran, do you see the stupidity? It's like saying to you, I refrain from doing barbecue when I'm doing barbecue. 
I refrain from making hummus when I and at the same time in the front you are watching me live on camera doing hummus. That's silly. Do you refrain or you don't refrain? If this is verse, this verse itself is a miracle by itself. How you say will you refrain from making miracle when you are seeing a miracle? Are you getting my point, guys? So when we get a silly Muslim saying that Jesus says maybe, that is not maybe about forgiveness. That's maybe about people would do things to you. Do good, so maybe people would, people would do good to you. Because it's maybe yes, maybe no. Visit them so they may visit you back. Feed them so they may be, feed you back. But this is not about Jesus knowing or not knowing. But here we find God in Islam. He keeps saying, maybe, maybe, maybe. And he have no sign. He have no proof. And the top of that, we get him busted, copying and agreeing with Umar al-Khattab. And who is Umar al-Khattab? He's a bad person. He's a scumbag. Umar al-Khattab, when Ali, he sent his daughter to him, he left her skirt to see her ass. Do you believe it? Ali, he sent his daughter to Omar. Omar, he left the skirt of, of his daughter and to see her bum, to see her vagina. At that time, they don't wear underwear. Who is Omar? Omar, according to the hadith, he used to chase the wives of Muhammad when they are doing poo poo and he make fun of them. And this is why the chapter of hijab came down. So that she go out to, to do poo poo and look how rude, how filthy he is. He say, Arif Naki, yes, Sauda, we saw your ass. Who is Omar? How God he copies such a filthy man and he make his statement Quran. And this is how silly they are. When we say that God saying maybe, he says to you, oh, Jesus said maybe. That's a lie. Here maybe about things Jesus will do or Jesus he is saying maybe they will do that to you if you do that to them. It's not about knowing. It's about people they have a freedom of choice. But here maybe it's about God maybe forgiving them. What about say Allah saying may Allah forgive you? <laughs> may, may Allah forgive you? What do you mean maybe Allah forgive you? Read this verse on love. That Allah may forgive thee. What do you mean, may Allah forgive thee? What do you mean? The verse means for it, it says, We granted thee victory. So Allah, He support Muhammad already. So what do you mean? Let Allah uh, may may Allah forgive thee, and then may Allah help thee. Allah is not sure He will help him or not. Guys, do you see how stupid it is? How Allah is saying may Allah help thee? How Allah is saying may Allah forgive thee? When Jesus He spoke to the one who is a sinner, He said to him, "Go, your sin is forgiven." He said to the Jews, "Which one is easier, to say your sin is forgiven, or to say to him, walk and carry your bed and walk?" He did not say maybe your sin will be forgiven. Which one is easier? The the Jews they were looking at him. Who is this person who is saying your sin is forgiven? That's only God can do. And Jesus even did read their mind, did not even talk about it. He says to them, which one, which one is easier to say your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk and the man carry his bed and walk? Here we see Allah saying, maybe Allah forgive your sin. Obviously, Muhammad, he made this verse and always he forget to switch. Because it cannot be Allah saying, "May Allah for it, it may Allah forgive your 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 uh, yeah. because Allah He forgive him or not." Especially He's saying here, "Forgive the past and the sin to come." That's mean everything. So what do you mean, maybe? 
Muhammad is the most beloved man for Allah. Muhammad is the most best man for for Allah. Muhammad, his name is over the throne of Allah. Muhammad is the first one will be resurrected by Allah. Muhammad is the last of the prophet. Muhammad and Allah are their names written in the Shahada. And yet here we see maybe, maybe Allah forgive your past and your coming sin. Maybe Allah will help you. So with this, my friends, I have to say to you, maybe Allah can refute us. Maybe Allah can prove himself. And maybe Muhammad is a prophet. But maybe he is not. And maybe Allah is a big fat lie. And maybe this is all a scam. So I let you Muslims enjoy the God of maybe who will forgive you. Maybe he will take you to heaven, make your penis endless as he promised. Maybe he is a true God. But we Christian, we don't believe in the God of maybe. We believe in God. He is God. And we are sure of that. He said, I am the truth, not maybe. I am the Alpha, not maybe the Alpha. I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am the beginning. I am the end. And the one who believe in me and die will live. I am who I am. And your sin is forgiven. That is our Lord, not your God, Mr. Maybe. Your God, Mr. Baby, is nothing but Mr. Bean. Maybe he is funny today. God who copy a guy like Omar al-Khattab, he cannot be God. It's clear that this is a book made by a man who is an idiot. He don't even know how to make a book to make it fit with God. Additional to that, there's endless numbers of mistakes. History mistakes, names mistakes. Even your God even cannot quote names correctly. Mary is the daughter of Omran. Who is Omran? Moses is the son of Omran. Who is Omran? Aaron is the brother of, of Mary. Why? Because Muhammad, he thought, he learned from the Jews that Aaron and Moses, they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So he thought this is the same mother of Jesus. And this is why both of them, they have the same father, Amran. But that name is absolutely false. He could not even quote one name correctly, including the name of Yeshua. In the Quran, suddenly his name is Isa. So maybe we will find a Muslim who can answer us and not to lie to us. And he says to us that Jesus said, maybe. What a liar. And we got you busted. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I will try to be on air tomorrow online. And uh, please subscribe, download the videos, share them everywhere you wish. And if you like to read more, don't forget to read my books. Uh, and they are in many languages, translated to many languages. We have four books, Deception of Allah, Quran and Science in Depth, and Six and Allah, uh, variant number one and variant number two. And soon we will have Deception of Allah translated in Spanish. So now we have it in Spanish, French, Swedish, Dutch, and uh, what else? German. So God is good, and we are going to expose this cult, and nobody will stop us. Thank you for being here and for, thank you for your support. And maybe we will be on air tomorrow. And I say maybe because I'm a human being. I'm not sure it's going to live or not. But God of maybe, he cannot be God. Say hello to your God, Mr. Maybe. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is maybe a religion and maybe not. Take your guess and gamble. Take care.